If you have recently upgraded your home network and renamed the network that you connect to or even maybe updated your password, you may find when you try to add these devices that they're either connecting to the old name or using the wrong password. And that is because Amazon has a feature where it can save your home network in your Amazon profile. So every time you try to add a new device, it's automatically just going to get that home network name and password. But if those have changed, you're gonna have a problem. I just recently found this out when I was doing a video on how to reset these guys. It was connecting to my old Wi-Fi network and I was wondering why I wasn't connecting to the new one. Well, you have to go into your Amazon account on the computer and delete your saved credentials. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and load up the website right here. What I did to get to this, and there may be a quicker way, but I clicked on all up in the top corner, scrolled all the way down to your account. Once that loaded up, I clicked on your devices and content. Then I went to manage devices. And then using the tabs at the top here, I clicked on preferences. From there, I scroll down to saved Wi-Fi passwords. And then from right here, I clicked on delete. And I said, yes, permanently delete this don't save it anymore. And now when I go into the app, I have a pop-up here because this Echo Dot is in setup mode. So I'm gonna click on continue. We'll go ahead and press and hold to put this into sync mode. And I'm gonna show you guys here when it uh, actually asks for my credentials. Now in setup mode. Perfect. Follow the instructions in your Alexa app. So here is where it would automatically pop up and use my old network credentials. But now it is asking me which network I want to connect to. So I can go ahead and click on the network I want. And you notice that it automatically has checked here, save password to Amazon. So now it is going to update my information. You can uncheck that if you want to, but if I put in my new information here, it is going to save it to the account where we have it there. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. It took me a while to figure it out and find out how to do this. If it is, let me know in the comments below. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you in the next video.